changing or different. So. Well, now we go to the individual matches, and it really gets interesting at this point. This is the women's bronze medal match in the compound competition. And there's a lot on the line in this match here today for this young woman. That is Choi Bo Min of Korea. And Choi Bo Min of Korea absolutely, positively has to win this match against Christina Berger if she's going to get to the World Cup final in Paris. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and sometimes you like to have that in your hand, and sometimes you like to be like, hey, I just get a shoot and the other person has to deal with it. But that, it, I've been in that situation before. I had to do that in, uh, Uh, but it is a uh, interesting situation for Choi Bo Min yeah. as she will take on Christina Berger of Germany who burst on the scene last year and has become one of the top female archers in compound competition. Yeah, she's done really well. I mean, for someone who's done it as little talking about experience, she's come along really quick and really fast. Well, so, uh, the Koreans have. I mean, yeah. they've really come along and really strong. and. And their country's put some good funding behind them and made them, they've learned real well. And uh, I think it's, it'll be a good match. These two should both be really good. But I think the one thing that's to Christina's advantage is not the extra pressure that's on her like there is for, you For Choi Bo Min, yes. Yeah, and like getting back to it, I, I, in Shanghai, I had to go down to winning it to make the finals there. And so I got lucky and did it and qualified. So that's kind of how it works out. You just got to, some people like that pressure, some don't. Well, this week, Choi Bo Min had a lot of close calls. She had a close call in the quarterfinals, a one-point win over Columbia's Sarah Lopez. Then she was handed a six-point setback by Erica Jones, so now she finds herself in this bronze medal match against Christina Berger, who edged out Alejandra Usquiano of Columbia by one, then lost a heartbreaking shoot-off with Albina Laganova, both hitting the nine ring, but Albina's shot was a little bit closer, so now Christina in the bronze medal match, starting off with a bullseye. And Choi Bowman trying to get to Paris, trying to get to the World Cup final. But she'll have to knock off Christina Berger. And they both start off with a bullseye. Yeah, dueling tans, they start off both solid. Christina, fifth in the world, was number two back in January. She opens the door a little bit. And Choi Bo Min, ranked 33rd, trying to walk through that door. And move ahead, but nope, we're still tied at 19 apiece. You see that happen a lot. If somebody misses one and it's close, puts the pressure on the other person, and they a lot of times it's hard to follow up with that big 10. Ooh, and an eight. A little bigger door opening. She can put a 10 in there to give her a little bit of breathing room. Choi Bo Min on that Korean team that came from behind to defeat Columbia this morning, and she will move ahead by one point, 28 to 27. Now, from what we understand, this is the scenario for women's compound as far as Paris and the World Cup final are concerned. Erica Jones, Sarah Lopez, Albina Laganova, Sok Ji Hyun, Christina, and Alejandra Usquiano have already qualified for Paris. Choi Bo Min trying to get there and get that final seventh spot. She needs to win the bronze medal. If, however, Christina Berger wins, then Choi Bo Min would be out of the picture. Pascal Lebec would get that seventh spot. And from what I understand, the French would also get another spot, the wild card, and they would have two athletes in, yeah, which is the most that any country can have. Yeah, yeah. It's a little different because when they first started the World Cups, it was four and you could have two from your country. Now they've gone to eight and they still ain't allowed two, so it's a, it's a little different. Yeah, a lot of pressure right here, so we'll find out. Yeah. The story about to unfold right now, and in this match, it's a one-point match, a one-point lead for Choi Bo Min of Korea. Nine. Christina, yeah. after that first arrow, is hung a little bit on that left side. Wonder if she's kind of playing the wind because it's coming. Usually comes left to right off that pond is how it's been. Ms. Choi just outside the ten ring. Okay. 
gente. Good group. Just a little bit Just to the right. As I always call it, she's been clicking her side. I call it sight grouping. It should be moving it, but it's really never. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> little excitement there for the for a minute there. It's kind of the body wanted to take it before it was ready to go. Uh, and coming across now. Well, you can see that that bow moving around. Trying to control oh. it, and she cr she controlled it well. Yeah, she crushed it. Terrific shooting by Choi Bo Min, who's got all the pressure in the world on her right now. Took a one-point lead, 28-27, after the first end. Puts up another 28 points, which was matched by Christina Berger. So it's still a one-point advantage for the Korean archer, who is trying her best to get to the World Cup final in Paris next month. Shooting in the shadows of the Eiffel Tower. Should be interesting. Yeah, oh, it, my curiosity always is, what's the weather going to be like? What's the wind? Yeah. What's the rain? You know, I mean, never having been there, I've flown into Paris a ton and mm -hmm. traveled through, but never really been out of the airport. So we'll see how it is. Of course, last year in Tokyo, Shooting in a downpour. Yeah, that was a different one too. Uh, just every every venue seems to end up with its own little challenges and parameters. Like I said, this morning and the stuff coming off the fountain. So, yep. which we have not seen much of this afternoon. No mist coming across the course. No. So we get set for the third end. Three arrows per end. And a great shot by Christina. Yep. Like I say, that alternating shot puts a little pressure on, more on. Uh... And Ms. Joy a little bit high into the right. Now we're all square again. I mean, like I said, I figured this would be a good match. These two have both shot really well this week. So sure. It just goes to show you how important every arrow and every shot is. Yeah, I, you can't take one off, can you? No, no. no. Oh, right down the middle. Yeah. X definitely marked the spot that time. Kill the spider, as we would say. But three tens for Christina Berger. Bullseyes across the board. And Bo Min needs a, a 10, I think 10 right, right here. That could turn out to be a very important shot. Yeah, I mean, it, I've had matches this week that you're just like, man, that one little one, if it just had one more little wrap of carbon on the arrow it was in. And so. It's a game of just not even, I would say, inches, just a millimeters, fraction of a major centimeters. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And an anxious waiting game right now for Choi Bo Min. Christina Berger, who did win the bronze medal, by the way, at stage two in Antalya, has already picked up that medal on the World Cup circuit this summer. But depending on how they score that one shot by Choi Bo Min, will either be tied or Berger will have a one point lead. And really, the pressure's off Christina Berger. Well, she's, she's qualified for she's Paris. She's qualified, but can she move around in that seven? Because, you know, you think about it, the higher you're going to climb. Mm -hmm. Maybe the better matchup? Yeah, not to say you're getting a lesser opponent. You're never going to have an easy one no, when you reach that level. But you might have one that. Somebody snuck in that wasn't shooting as good or, you know, to that point. And so this is what our discussion has been this year. In the past few years going to the different countries like Turkey, where they were brought somebody in, they didn't have somebody qualify. So you got that eight spot, which was somebody who probably wasn't the toughest opponent. Mm -hmm. Where going to France, they have good shooters in the compound division. So it will be a tough match. Now, they did score that as a 10 on the third shot of the third end for Choi Bo Min, so we're tied at 85 to start the fourth end. The plot doth thicken. Uh, 
And this is a game of tens. Yeah, you can see the you can see the frustration. It's like, oh. And both nines. Nine. Starting to get the pressure up. I mean, you're getting down to the last few arrows. Yep. This is one end that I kind of, like a lot of times when I'm looking at it, this is a money end. This is the end where you move or you you don't. Because if you walk in with one point or two points in the in the final end, it's way better. Ten. 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 Clutch shot. Yeah, yeah. Because there's nobody out here on this field that would give anybody a one-point lead on, with three arrows, or a one-point spot, as you would say, for three arrows. Ten. Ten. So Krasnina Berger. The 28. Fighting back. Ten. Another 10. So Bowman with a bullseye to go up by one after the fourth end. And in, well, I don't want to say in great shape as she heads into the fourth end. Now, one point is not great shape. No, but, but better it is, than being down one. Yeah, like I said, there ain't one person out on this field that would give their opponent a one point spot with three arrows. And so, you know that you can walk down there and shoot a 29 and still tie and they have to shoot a 30. But you know if you shoot that 30, you hold your own destiny. That's, that is a good feeling to know that you hold your own destiny. 114, 113. Choi Bo Min, a great match going on here in the women's bronze medal match, which has a great deal on the line. Many implications right here. And the French team also, I'm sure, yeah. watching and yeah, very gonna, interested. They're going to get two spots. you got to like that. You know, I mean... If Christina Berger can pull off the comeback. Yeah. And you know, quick enough, like I said, she gets to be the first one to shoot to put the pressure on, so. Yeah. Right, she does it. The pressure's on. Yeah. She just turned up the heat. Yeah. Well, it's matched. Solid arrows, both of them. I'll see you and I'll raise you. Yeah. Back to Berger. Matching, matching her last arrow. It's what a great competitor. Yeah. And in her thoughts, she's got to she's got to put a thirty down there to have the have the shot, hoping that her opponent will give her one. Okay. Oh. The wind really picking up. Ooh, oh, there's, and there's the, the shot you were talking about. So now we're tied at 133 with one arrow to go. Yeah, and Christina has that mindset. I put this in, I'm at least guaranteed to shoot off. And she does. So now it is all up to Choi Bo Min. Anything less than a bullseye? She not only loses the match, but a trip to Paris. But she's in the 10 ring. So now we'll have a one arrow shoot off, which. <laughs> God, you gotta love it, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see the, <laughs> the relief in her face to go, oh. But that relief will only last for about, what, 10 seconds, and all yeah, of a sudden, that, now you realize. As soon as them arrows are pulled and scored, it's, it's game on again. What a great match. 143 all. Big shots by big time archers, Choi Bomin and Christina Berger. Christina falling behind early in the match, but coming back, tied at a 85 all after three ends. Choi Bomin went back ahead, 114, 113 after the fourth end. And then with one arrow to go, we were tied at 133. Both shot bullseyes, and we are going to our first shoot off of the day. One arrow to decide it, closest to the center, determines the outcome, even if it's just by centimeter, millimeter, that we yeah. were talking about. Yeah, it, it's gonna be down to just the hairs. It's it's a split and hair game sometimes. And the one nice part about being the first person to shoot first like Christina was, now in the shoot off, she gets to shoot first again. And so you get to let that person look at your arrow and see where you did, either they 
get a breath of fresh air or they're stuck going, oh, no. So you definitely would want to shoot first in this situation. Oh, yes, definitely, okay. definitely. Because you've shot arrows already. It's not like, so the only time I will ever choose to shoot second is if there's a, an environment you see a win that you may not know, and then I let my opponent go out there and show me what's going on. <laughs> you know? Let them be the canary in the coal mine. Yep, let them be the guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> so you do that real quick, and you do it when they shoot that. You're like, here you go, you're the guinea pig, and, and you learn from it. So that's the funny part. It's like right now you, you're like, I'm first. I get to go down there, and, and I get to make the shot that's going to either put the pressure on you or not. It's up to me to do it. And I don't have to sit and live with that pressure on myself. Some of the American contingent here in the stands here in Wrocław, Poland, at stage four of the 2013 Archery World Cup campaign. <clears throat> Lots of great archery to go after this match. We'll have the women's gold medal match featuring Erica Jones and Albina Loganova. And then we'll get to the guys. Okay. And it's a solid 10. In the 10 ring. Yeah. So the door's a little open. It's not one of them that you're like, oh, I can't mm. be, yeah. Just yeah. cracked. For the match. And it goes to Christina Berger as Choi Bowman needing to get it in the center of the target. Could not find the middle of the target. And Christina Berger wins in a shoot off, wins her second bronze medal on the World Cup circuit this season. But a great effort by Choi Bowman, who had that feeling of ecstasy this morning and now this afternoon. Uh, it's got a. You don't know if she knew for sure. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. But you know as soon as she finds out, it's going to be just like oh, the painful. First one arrow. One arrow is what costs me. And it's, you know, just like we talked about that one that was close. It can be that one arrow that can cost you that's just, you know, the whole thing. So Absolutely. Well, Rio, a pleasure as yeah. always, my friend. Hey. Go back home, get that basement bailed out in Pocatello, Idaho. Oh, will do. And we will see you in Paris where hopefully it will be nice and dry.